Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at how we can make sure that whenever someone registers in our website, they always have a very secure password. Now in the recent Laravel release, there was a new password validation logic with which we can easily implement such kind of functionality. So we can make sure that the user have at least one letter, one number, one symbol. So that kind of password validation we can add. So this is just a normal registration route, so which comes by default with Laravel Breeze. So if I show you here in the web.php, we have this auth.php we have included and this is inside the routes web and this auth is also inside the routes web if you look here and whenever we go in this register it is just calling this view yeah and whenever we submit it will call this post register request and it will call the store method inside this registration controller which is inside app http controllers auth and register user controller so here it is the store and here is the validation logic okay so it is just validating these things for the password so it must be required and it must be at least eight character but we can do much more so now if i just auto fill in so i have just made this password as the text field yeah so if i if you see here in this register.blade.php so i have just made the password to text so that it will be visible what we are typing here okay so let's say we are typing here p a s s w r d so it is eight character yeah so p a s s so we are only writing here two character four characters then if we click on register it will show us that the password confirmation does not match means this password and this confirm password did not match okay so it has simple validation logic over here now let us convert this into an array so now let me just remove it and let me add a new validation logic so it has the new validation logic already has that minimum character logic so i'm just removing it and i'll use the new one so now it is known as password and it is this illuminate validation rules password yeah so you can see here it is already imported here and now here i can say here min now i can give a size so if i give it here a size eight now if we write any password that is below the size of the eight then it will throw an error so if i show you here so both are apple but they have only five characters so if i hit register now you can see here the password must be at least eight characters so we have that validation so now let's say we want letters as well as numbers so letters means just characters okay so now here let's say now we want the password to have letters yeah now this validation will make sure that the letters are always present at least one letter is present so so i have made the first validation rule so eight character minimum eight characters but all of them are numbers now if i try to register here now it will say the password must contain at least one letter so it will not let us register now we can also say the password must have at least one number so if we write both of these letters and numbers so the password must have at least one letter and at least one number so if i say here so i have all eight a's here okay both of them are eight a's and i haven't any numbers so if i click on register now look here guys it is saying the password must contain at least one number so i only wrote letters but in the validation logic we had numbers as well so it is asking for us the number as well so it is not letting us to register now there is another one as well which is mixed case so if we use this validation logic then we must use one small letter and one capital letter in the password so let's say i wrote here apple ball one one so you can share all of them are small letter and there is one number so there are both both letters and numbers but none of them are capital letters so if i try to register here so you can see here the password must contain at least one uppercase and one lowercase letter so this is also validated and now at last guys there is one final validation logic which is known as symbols so if we write here symbols the password must contain at least one special character like dollar or exclamation or hashtag or at the rate like that so now let's say so i have all small letter capital letter and numbers but not the special character so if i try to register here so now you can see here guys the password must contain at least one 
symbol so we are validating everything in our password so in this way the later the users will have the most secure password when they are using our application so let's try and satisfy all those things okay so now you can see here guys i have all letters numbers and special characters and the letters are small letter as well as capital letters now if i try to register so this is my email and this is my password now if i register here so you can see here guys now the user has been successfully registered and it is logged in so you can share the user name that i have entered when i was registering so in this way guys we can make the password of any user that are logging or registering to our website very strong so i hope this video was very useful for you guys so if it was very useful then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day bye